Hello everyone, it's Basic Sorgonomics for this March 17th, St. Paddy's Day. I'm like probably the only one in the city not getting drunk over the weekend or today or anything like that. Uh, I have a green screen. Does that count? Anyways. Um, but uh, uh, join me at Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on Twitter, um, all kinds of things. Um, so I, I put a statement out. I put this... Um, I think I dropped this on, on, on Facebook. I dropped this on um, uh, LinkedIn over the weekend. And, um, you know, talking about and thinking about, you know, especially some friends of mine that are uh, in certain situations that uh, need to kind of get to the next step or just people in general and, and kind of thinking back to how I got away from my hateful situation, you know, with the, with the, with the, with the jobs and, and, and whatnot and career, really. To the point that I can be here at 8.30 on a Tuesday morning and I'm doing podcasts and I'm broadcasting on Meerkat, uh, just for the hell of it, but it works. And there's a reason to it. There's a little bit of rhyme to it other than the initial experiment that this used to be. But, um, a friend with a big side project, actually, this is the guy that, uh, helped, uh, produce, uh, Hey guys, did you know I used to be a rapper? Um, this is a thing that happened. Uh, and, uh, there was a guy that he was uh, really big in the music, local music kind of thing, kind of make it a thing. And uh, he was doing a magazine. And uh, and I got to write a little bit for it. And we, we got to do some fun, fun, fun projects uh, around it. And, and, of course, got to, hey, perform on stage. That was the, the, the coolest, coolest thing in front of, uh, at some points, a couple hundred people. But, um, you know, in general. And we had a lot of fun and some great memories. But uh, but he had this magazine he was doing on the side of doing a full-time job. And uh, he once told me, I, I'm like, well, how are you doing this? How are you getting this thing together, right? Um, and he said that I try to make sure that I do one thing that helps the magazine every day. Didn't have a lot of time, had a girlfriend, a kid on the fiance probably, a kid eventually. And uh, at a certain certain point, he had to kind of give up. The magazine wasn't working. He actually had a really big opportunity um, that he had to turn down because of, uh, and I give him a lot of credit for this, uh, because of, uh, uh, you know, it was not a good deal. You know, it was one of those kind of music industry crap contracts in the long run. Uh, because he actually read it instead of just signing it on the spot after being wooed at the uh, at the uh, record label. But uh, anyways, it was regarding the magazine, of course. Um, and I respect him. There was definitely respect for that. But he, but going back to that, you know, he did one thing. He got to that point. He got to the threshold of success, and he could have done it. And could have he could have done another thing too. He could he and he tried again with another uh, concept. But uh, but but he still. With all of this, with all the other crap he had to deal with in his day-to-day life, family, work, he made it happen. When um, I was, maybe I took a little more extreme function at this, but for me, doing the podcast, I determined, well, for in my case, I determined Tuesday, regardless, no matter what's happening, we do this podcast. It wasn't for any thoughts of this is the thing that's going to get me to the next level. It wasn't for all the uh, job opportunities that did come from me doing a pro wrestling podcast weekly for several years. You know, hell, I started seeing stuff after doing it for a year um, and got a few opportunities. And that's really built to what I have now, you know, Uh, as far as whatever that that brand personal equity may be, you know, and those experiences that I've had over the past uh, eight years. Um, is, is from that, but it's something that I said, we're going to do this every week. I think we start on Wednesdays. And I said, we're going to do every Wednesday and we did Tuesdays. And I was like, okay, we're going to do every Tuesday. So we had to move it because somebody had, a, had, had school or something at the time, right? Their classes were that night. Um, and then all my hosts went away for whatever reason, I got new hosts. There were people into the show. We graduated them. Um, and even as far as, uh, you know, the rest of, rest of my goals to find clients to do client work outside of work to expand myself because I realized I'm not getting a job based on what I'm doing day to day just not around here for any significant money um but anything like that you know some some friends of mine work on a uh, a video game website and you know if they do one thing every day that thing will grow 
right? Or, or they're, you know, get themselves to do, you know, some of them do one article a week, you know, but if you get enough of those guys to do that, so what are you doing? What, what are you looking to do? Um, you know, are you looking to get a better job? Are you looking to this? Let's say you're looking to get a, a better job or, or move maybe, you know, to Pittsburgh or, or something like that. Um, when's the last time you put out a resume? Did you put out one resume every day? You know, um, are, did you, you know, you want to create something, did you create something or at least a little bit around that object every day? If you're doing a podcast, um, did you do Twitter for the day? Did you talk about it that day? Um, did you do one thing for that? It doesn't have to be everything. We look at these concepts we want to do to say, I want to do a podcast on, I want to do a comedy podcast. I want to do a video game podcast and I want it to become successful. And you think about that end goal of being this and having thousands of people and, and having this great thing and this, this, this concept and something that's grown, uh, that people are latching onto. You got to take it a step back. You have to take it all the steps back. You need to deconstruct that and say, okay, I got to do this podcast. What's the thing I got to do to do the podcast? Um, I have to figure out how to record it and figure out a concept. Okay, what do I need to do before that? I got to make sure I have a computer that can record it. Okay, let's, let's look at our computer. Uh, well, I have a really crappy microphone and I have uh, this thing going on. All right, let's, let's go back. Let's see if we can get a better microphone. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can record with what we have. Let's do a test, you know, something. Go back to the smallest first step. That It's all baby steps. They set out for the reason. And the problem, problem is sometimes we can't see the forest from the trees. I'm throwing every metaphor in this podcast, aren't I? Um, and... And uh, <laughs> we can't see the forest from the trees, so we can't take it back down to steps, right? Um, I can think of another quick example here. Uh, I know podcasts are very, very much the, the, the thing I'm looking at here. Uh, for instance, my house. My house needs a lot of work, and we look at this, and, and it's always been, um, well, we need to do this and tear out these walls and do this thing and another thing. Okay, what can we do today? What can we do to start this process, to make this a little more livable, make this work a little bit better, step towards that point where we're doing this and upgrading the house and everything. It's like, what can we do right now with this? Well, okay, we can throw a coat of paint on this. It's like, okay, good. You know, that, that part needs that. You don't need to tear out the walls and put the paint on the ceiling, right? Um, or whatever that case may be. It, you know, it, it, the house needs an overhaul. But we overhaul one little thing at a time. Instead of looking at the big picture in the entire house, you look at a room, you look at a wall, you look at that fixture, right? And you take a little bit at a time. And if you take enough little bits, you'll get a whole picture. You take enough strokes of the brush, you'll get a whole painting. So you got to figure out what that first brush is. Let me know what you guys think. What big thing? Here, let me hear this. Um, in comments, in um, uh, Twitter, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Let me know, what's your big thing you're trying to accomplish? Is there something big you don't know where to start? I'll help you out in comments as much as I can. Love to. Um, or is there something that you're on the path? Or is there something you got to your big goal? There's something you had to restart, maybe. Taking it back, looking at it. Let me know on the comments, on the Twitter, at Sorgatron. Sorgatron.com is where this show lives. Uh, you can subscribe to us. We're on, uh, I think we're on Stitcher. We're on uh, iTunes. We're on YouTube. It's Basic Sorgonomics with Michael Sorg is what you search for. Or just search Sorgatron Media if you're in the iTunes, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on over there. Sorgatronmedia.com. Hope you checked out Sawtooth Willie, Episode 5 over there and this morning should be out by now by the time you hear this there's probably a yik yak eulogy video that we've posted um thanks to the delisting we were having a lot of fun with the comedy uh videos back uh over the last couple months and uh if it's it's if it's sunsetting thanks to google delisting it and bullying well, we wanted to give it the right send off so much more sogertronmedia.com and uh we'll see you guys next time This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.